If you're doing a bunch of videos about iconic burger places, <laughs> you better be doing one about Whataburger. <sighs> this place is legendary. In Texas, <laughs> there is the Holy Trinity. There's Jesus, there's football, and there's Whataburger. You best not mess with any one of those things or you're going to get in trouble. Uh, that right there is a Whataburger. If you don't like Whataburger, you might want to stick around because I have a couple things to share with you that might help change your mind a little bit. We're just going to make a Whataburger right here because this thing is absolutely phenomenally incredible and I can't wait let's to make it. Let's do a brief history so let's get of started. Whataburger before we get into making the burger. 1950, Harmon Dobson's partner Paul Burton opened up a little shack in Corpus Christi selling five inch quarter pound burgers to the oil field workers and they said, wow, what a burger. And that's uh, how they got the name basically. It was uh, just one of those things that uh, came along. By uh, you know, a couple years later, they were expanding like crazy. This this burger took off like mad. They even went to Florida in 1959 with the 21st store. I mean, they, they were sailing, man. They were flying sky high with success. Everybody loved everything. Unfortunately, in 1967, old Harm was flying his Cessna Skymaster and got a case of the gravities. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, Harm was lost in the... Uh, in the crash and left the business to his wife grace now this is 1967 a woman running a major corporation like this was kind of unheard of so they wanted her to sell it she said no i'm running this thing and she got a pool boy allegedly so they say and <laughs> they don't say that no one said that in 1971 they got a drive through though and these snazzy uniforms <sighs> what a burger was going places they took off like crazy they expanded lines were around the block this place was Almond and shaking. The menu expanded. They added breakfast. Look at this beautiful breakfast. I don't know what this is. Breakfast taco. This breakfast burger right here looks amazing. They were really going places. Did you know that every single 16-year-old in Texas has to work at a Whataburger for at least one day? That's true. No, it isn't. Uh, people even got married at Whataburgers. This is how important it is. And speaking of courting, this guy right here came a courting in 2019, had a few big powerful meetings, and came up with a number that Whataburger couldn't refuse, and they bought them. So this is what Whataburger looked like before the big corporate buyout, and this is what it looks like inside of Whataburger now. Just kidding, just kidding. They didn't change that much. The burgers are still crazy and amazing. Uh, they're still big. You can still get whatever you want. This guy was promoted to CEO and president. He used to be the accountant. That's always a good idea. Put accountant in charge of you know food and stuff, sure. But look at this food, though. They, it'd be tough to screw this up, even for an accountant. Uh, you got to love this place if you know how to order things right. And they will customize anything you want. They have so many options. If you don't like it, that's pretty much your fault. But uh, that is sort of the history of what a burger. They have expanded like crazy, and they are pretty much everywhere around the country. Yeah, let's build a burger. So in order to make this amazing burger, we got to have a great hamburger patty. We've got four ounces or a quarter pound of 80-20 ground beef, ground chuck, whatever you got is fantastic for this. We are going to set this in loosely into our five-inch ring here, and we're going to gently pack this down to make a beautiful hamburger patty. This is going to make a great Whataburger, but it's got to have a great bun for that. So we put a little butter on our buns. We put them in our 14 inch cast iron kamal, and we're just going to toast the buns here. Yeah, it took a little longer now I may have edited it. So uh, just cook them until you get them looking beautiful like that. That's the foundation for a great burger. Now we've got our five inch quarter pound burger patty going down. I'm pressing this down just ever so gently to make sure that it has contact with the cast iron. That helps build the Maillard reaction and gets you a better taste in burger. A little salt and pepper is going to give a little bit of flavor. When the juices start coming up, it takes about 53 seconds with a four or 500 degree uh, surface. We're just going to do this again. When the juices come back up about another 53 seconds later, this sucker is done. Let's make a burger. Assembling a water burger is super simple. They have, I don't know if you know this or not, uh, you can get anything that you want on a water burger. Basically, if, it, if they have it in the store, you can put it on your Whataburger. You can customize it to your heart's content. They claim to have over like 900 different versions of this burger available to anyone at any time. That's, that's their claim anyways. So if you've tried Whataburger and you haven't been thrilled with it, 
Maybe you should go start customizing it because it's up to you how they make it. We have our five inch bun here, which is toasted as is customary. Now you're gonna put a big old W of mustard on that, which I'm not going to do. As you know, I don't do mustard. So get over it. Mustard is standard, but they have like five different things you can use instead of it. Mayonnaise and ketchup is one of them and that is usually the way I get a Whataburger. And they always get it right too. Uh, there are so many places that just completely screw up absolutely every single time you ask for a customized order. Whataburger is not necessarily one of those. It depends on the crew working there, of course, and the people training them. Considering 611 locations are corporate owned and not franchisees, they have a pretty tight ship. So you have a pretty good chance. If you're at a franchisee, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we are going to now, see that? I put, the, I put a big M on it. <laughs> okay, to me it's a W. They, that's the way you would do it right there. Okay, so what do we got? We are going down with our patty going on the bottom. This is, does not have cheese on it. You can get cheese. You can get cheese. It's, it's perfectly fine. The cheese would go under it and protect the bun. We're not putting cheese on it, so that's not a thing. Now, we've got onions. Onions are going down. They put some onions on there. They, they, they can do grilled onions. They have grilled onions. You can do that. That's fine. You got pickles. Pickles are going down on this thing. They always have a pretty, pretty generous with the pickles. This is some pretty good sized pickles. I'd say we've done it just about right. Now you got your tomato. You got your slices of a fresh tomatoes going down on this sucker. I think three is about it. We've got our beautiful piece of leaf lettuce, which I'm going to put this way so we get a better burger smile out of it. And then I'm going to do that. And you got a water burger. There you go. It's not the hardest thing in the world to make, but it is delicious. And if you're from Texas, you know exactly what I'm about to experience right now. If you're from anywhere else, you might know too, because they do have 700 and something locations uh, all along the South and a bunch of different places. And if you don't have a Whataburger yet, one is probably coming soon. I'd imagine they're bringing one to Chicago soon because uh, since they're owned by a company in Chicago, this burger right here may be coming to a, a Chicago neighborhood near you. It is theoretically possible. I'm going to take a couple of thumbnails real fast and then I'm going to be back. Hold on. The thumbnails are done. It's eating time. I love it. This is my favorite part. Hopefully you like this too. And hopefully you like my artwork. Did I do? Uh, okay, it's pretty bad. All right. Normally I'd blame it on my kids, but I don't have any. So I can't say that it was done by a six-year-old. Although that would make a lot more sense. But I'm a kid at heart. So there you go. There's the, my artistic ability. You've seen it. There we go. Uh, now you know why I don't paint or do other things. But what I do is cook, and I cook me a what a burger one more time. Let's have a look at it for it. Don't look this pretty again. I'm going in, folks. Mmm, excited about this. That is a what a burger. Oh, what a burger always kind of remind me of the Whopper quite a bit, but it's cleaner. It's tastier. Um, it was always, yeah, they're, but, they're, but they're very similar, but the way you assemble it is different. So you're going to get a different uh, flavor profile on the tongue. The way your taste buds eat this and they take it in is different. This has, because the pickles are on top of the onions instead of the, and it's, it's just, it's, it's a different bite than a Whopper is. Uh, but that's what a Whataburger is. And if you like them, you're going to love that thing. You should make one if you don't have a Whataburger next to you. If you do have one next to you, go there and eat. Unless you're really pissed off about the fact that uh, it you know, got bought out by some corporation thing. They're nice people. From what I hear, they, they, they seem to be nice people. I don't think that they've screwed up anything too badly. But, you know, again, don't have uh, an accountant as your president, maybe. Uh, just a personal opinion, nothing against accountants, but uh, bean counters, they, they're not uh, always the best, you know? They don't think about what could be, they think about how much it costs. That's not how you make good food, folks. You make good food by putting all of your love, joy, and effort into it, and I love joy and effort you 
<laughs> okay, worst transition ever. Sorry about that one. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you like this. If you have other suggestions for iconic burgers out there, go feel free to throw them at me. If you're going to put White Castle down there, I'm kind of working on that one. However, have you had White Castle? If you didn't, it's kind of like Jack in the Box tacos. If you didn't grow up liking those things, mm, that's, a, that's a tough one. Um, so uh, my research has taken me to a stalemate of, do I really want to perpetuate uh, this? I mean, we all know kind of how they're made and, and what the deal is, but I'm working on an angle. Mm. We shall see. And you'll see that episode of How to Cook when you come back and join me again. Till then, have a good one. Thanks for watching.